Hello everybody. Today we're doing a video about um, common marks on jewelry and coins and bars. Uh, this is a very important topic because um, as, as a gold buyer and even as a consuming gold buyer you want to know if what you're buying is real and you don't want to be swindled by fake jewelry and fake coins and stuff. And so I've taken the time to draw out some of the things that I've learned over the last couple of years. I want to start out with a story about um, how I got started a little bit. Um, I made through my dad. We made a deal with a local shop owner to use some of the space so we could buy some gold, and we set up some advertising outside. And um, pretty soon, it turned out that it was. Uh, my money on the line that I was putting into buying this scrap and uh, so if I made any mistakes I would lose all the money like if I bought a piece of nickel for you know like a nickel ring or something and it was not gold then whatever I paid it for a gold price was basically essentially lost because base metals aren't nearly worth as much as the gold is and so you can only sell it for base metal value and even that's hard nearly impossible to do unless you have bulk base metals so um, so then I was faced with this challenge of you know stuff coming into the shop and having to sort through it and figure out what it was worth and what was safe what was too risky you know how to make judgments about everything and so one of the uh, first and most important lessons was the lesson of jewelry marks. And so I guess I'm going to start into it now. So here we've got, you're probably familiar with 10 karat or 14 karat jewelry. Um, basically, to figure out what percentage of gold is in 10 karat or 14 karat jewelry, you take carat that it is and divide it by 24. In the case of 10 carat, you get a decimal which is essentially 41.6%. Okay, and, and you'll even see that marked on some jewelry. You'll see that they take and they put uh, a 416 on the jewelry so that you know what it contains. Um, most common marks here in the U.S. are 10 karat, 14 karat. Sometimes you'll see 18 karat or 750, and that's again that's 75 percent, or for every thousand parts, 750 of them are gold or silver or whatever the metal is. So, oftentimes you'll see 18 karats considered like a fine gold, and um, or nice jewelry. Some people value those a little bit more. Uh, 22 karat you won't see very often, but when you do see it, usually it's like from Asia or from India somewhere, and it's a very yellow gold. Um, 14 karat and 10 karat tend to be a little wider because there's a little bit silver mixed in, and or maybe nickel or some other base metals, and so. These tend to be a little lighter, and this one tends to be more yellow. Then 24 karat gold is very yellow, and also you'll find on a lot of bars and coins that they'll be marked 0.999, which essentially means out of a thousand parts, 999 are gold or silver, and then the one parts maybe some other element that got mixed in when they were purifying it. You know, it's hard to get it completely pure. Um, platinum tends to be marked 950 so again 95 percent platinum and then it's got some iridium and some other things in there uh, sterling or silver so for silver usually you'll see one of these two marks sterling or 925 which means 92.5 percent silver both of these marks mean the same thing and they're both for silver jewelry okay um other marks you'll see that are generally okay you'll see kt occasionally that's a legal one and and it's usually good 
Sometimes you'll see GP. Now this, this one can be tricky. Sometimes it can be on the on the negative side over here. Um, but generally, if it says 14 karat GP, it means gold plum. That means it's up to the level. Plum means it's up to the level. So, um, but there's a possibility that it could mean gold plate, which means that it's just on the surface, and that's where we get over to this other side. So this one sometimes is a little bit, have to be careful about it. Um, you test. Usually what I do is I use this as a reference, and it gives me like most of my security and knowing what I have, but there's other tests that I do that help me make decisions about certain ones, especially like this one or this one. Um, this is a, a brand name. I don't remember what the brand is, but they've got this rectangular G and the couple of rings that I've bought with this brand uh, kind of a G have been in fact 14 or 10 karat or whatever they claimed. So um, usually if you have a GF that's because it's gold filled. Okay, and gold filled is a type of a plating that's like uh, you know like rolled on to the jewelry. Uh, if you, the, Okay, so over here we've got low value marks. This stuff is like plated on the surface. It might be less than 1%, depending what it is. You've got gold electroplated, so it's 10 karat gold that's been electroplated on. You've got gold filled or rolled gold sometimes. I think that's written uh, RGF. And uh, in either of those cases, you know you're dealing with plating. Now, plated materials are a lot harder to work with. You need a lot more to work with them. And it's just overall way more, uh, way more work and a lot less value there. Both things, <laughs> okay. So um, the hardest thing that you'll encounter is no mark. And when you find something with no mark, it could be gold or it could be not gold or plated gold, less than a percent, sometimes half a percent or a quarter of a percent, not very much based on weight. So um, in this case, usually you'll end up doing other, other tests. Uh, I'll do an acid test or I'll do a magnet test. I'll do, um, I look at the color and I look at the texture and I'm gonna make a video about all those kinds of different tests or maybe I should say videos because some of them are more involved than others but um, most of the time if there's no mark my tendency is to say it's low value it's not likely to be anything good there are some things that are but you have to know another way to test it to figure it out so anyway I hope that was helpful thank you for watching today if you liked it, that'd be great. Subscribe with us. We're going to make more videos about gold stuff. So until next time, bye.